much time to keep thinking Good morning, about Henderson High School. I'm Seth Rose. And I'm Valentina. We're short a few cameras, so bear with us. Let's get this started. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, and we're back. Reading Rainbow will meet this afternoon in room 264. Chester County Adult Night School is looking for student guides for tonight, March 16th, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. If interested, see Ms. Kennedy in the administration office today. And now we're going to turn it over to Val. Attention seniors, it's about time to help the after prom committee by participating in a t-shirt design contest. Details were handed out in homeroom. Turn your entry into Mrs. Reynolds, room 104, no later than March 30th. Mrs. Reynolds has the winning design used for last year's after prom. Stop by to check it out. The Musical Appreciation Society will have its next meeting today after school from 2 30 to 4. We will be watching Rent, so bring your friends and some snacks to room 220. See you there. And now to Seth. Students interested in working on the spring drama should plan to meet in room 147 after school today. Ever think of joining the environmental club? With Power Down Friday coming up <coughs> this week, now is the perfect time to join. Meet in room 108 today at 2 30 if you are interested. And now back to Valerie. <laughs> Those sophomores and juniors who would like to be counselors for Pierce Middle School's Cape Henlopen trip should get an application from the main office. The trip's, date, the trip's dates from June 1st to June 5th. The completed application is due in the main office by April 1st. Attention all National Honor Society members and candidates. Chester County Night School is, a ne is in need for, of volunteers for this evening to help direct students to their classrooms. Basically, you will be acting as frogs like you did for Open House. You will need to be in the lobby from 5.45 to 7 p.m. this evening. If you can help out, please see Mr. Atkins before the end of the day today. This is a perfect opportunity to perform community service. Now to Seth. On April 3rd, there will be an informational meeting in the cafeteria regarding I Died Day. This is a Students Against Destructive Decisions sponsored event to raise awareness of destructive decisions, apparently. Please come to the meeting if you are interested in participating. Sign up sheets are also in the guidance <laughs> office if you cannot attend. A big thank you to all who were involved to make the NAHS Coffee House a success. A great evening and good times were had by all. A special thank you to Jamie Howell and Ben Barnes who ran the coffee house as part of their grad project. Hello. What happened in the sports world this weekend? Uh, Henderson and otherwise? Be really loud. Yeah. Be really loud. Um, why do I have my <laughs> Yeah. No. Okay, congratulations oh, yeah, to the... Alright. <laughs> congratulations to the following swimmers for their performance at the State Swimming Championship at Bucknell University this past weekend. Andrew Kosick placed second in the 100 butterfly and the 100 backstroke with the school record times. David McCormick placed sixth in the 200 individual medley and won the state championship in the 100 breaststroke with school record times. Parker Baisden placed 14th in the 500 freestyle and David Baldino also placed 14th in the 50 freestyle, the 200 freestyle relay, relay off. Andrew Kosick, Dave McCormick, Mark Bear, and David Baldino set the new record and placed fourth in the 400 freestyle relay. Team of Kosick, McCormick, Baldino, and John Meza placed fifth in the school record time. Congratulations to the, the entire boys team on the great state meet and for the finishing fifth overall in the team standings. The girls 200 medley, medley relay team of Lauren Bazin, Casey McNichol, Paige Bazin, and Cody Murtoff set a new school record and finished 16th overall. The same quartet also set a new school record in the 400 freestyle relay Finishing 13th overall, Casey McNichol finished 14th in the 200 individual medley. Lauren Bazin finished 7th in the 500 freestyle, setting a new school record, and she also finished 15th 
in the 100 Butterfly. Congratulations to the team on the outstanding performances and for the great season overall. And now Samuel S. Farley for sport, or er, for weather. weather. Yeah, today it's well, high of 55, low of 37 and cloudy. Tomorrow, exact same thing. It's just gonna be cloudy in the morning. Uh, Wednesday, it's gonna be partly cloudy. Uh, high of 62, low of 45. Thursday, there's going to be rain, unfortunately. A high of 51 and a low of 33. And Friday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 46 and a low of 29. It's going to get really cold for some reason. <laughs> um, we're going to read the chair announcements, too. Uh, for lunch today, the cafeteria will be serving French bread pizza, Caesar salad, chilled pineapple, and a milk chug for a total of 768 calories. Um, the, meeting, <clears throat> the meeting for the girls' skit will take place Wednesday after school outside of the LGI. Don't miss it. Power Down Friday is this week. It is finally here. Watch the announcements for more information about the event on Friday. That's everything now. And have a great day, Henderson. Have a great day, Henderson. Happy St. Patty's Day. Hope your day goes better than the announcements. Uh,